let me give you my take on immigration. And I know you don't care, but you're, you're going to care today. So America doesn't have a problem necessarily with immigration. America has a problem with capitalism. No, I'm not against capitalism. I'm a capitalist. I, I get it. But America has a problem with capitalism in general. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. And before we get started, pause to read the definition of capitalism. that explain where I'm coming from. This country started with indentured servitude, where people will come over and work in the fields and farms and factories for a certain amount of time until they earn their freedom to get their own property and do the same thing. But over time, capitalism basically is let's keep our liabilities low and our profit margins high. So eventually, they did away with indentured servitude and in 1619, they started bringing slaves over and that was free. Now, of course, you had to pay for their travel, transportation, food, medical, whatever, all the uh, medical expenses. But in the overall, you got 30, 40, 50, whatever years of free labor. And that was perpetual, meaning their kids and their kids and the kids, you get what I'm saying, they kept earning money for the slave owner, slave master, slave family, slave country. You get what I'm saying. So after slavery was abolished, they still needed ways of making money, keeping their profit margins high and their liabilities low. And one of the ways to do it that the government found out was through the 13th Amendment, you know, putting people in jail and making them work for free. That's another form of slavery. So slavery technically is not abolished in America. You are still subjected to slavery if you are duly, con duly convicted of a crime. But now let's get back to private industry. It's still the same thing. It's about keeping liabilities low and profits high. And they did that for a long time until the government started saying, OK, let's put in rules. You got to give them medical dental insurance. You got to give them uh, retirement benefits, 401, 401ks, IRA, stuff like that. And so now it's like, OK, this is a lot of liability toward the company. How can we get workers here and pay them less and keep our profits high? And not all companies do this. Not all companies get illegal immigrants to come over and work them under the table for pennies on the dollar. No, but there are farms and restaurants and some industries like that that would pay people under the table because they feel like, hey, these people would do jobs that Americans won't do. And they're absolutely right because Americans want medical, dental, a, a fair pay, a fair wage and other benefits associated with the job and the farmer or the hotel or the restaurant they want to keep their profit margins high by paying you nothing so they will bring over the immigrant and make him work for pennies on a dollar because that person is just happy to have a job and take care of their families but what happens once that immigrant becomes a legal citizen and now they want all the entitlements that's due to a legal american citizen so what do you have to do so you have to keep repeating the cycle get more immigrants up here to work for less so how do you fix it you pay people if the farmer, now mind you, if the farmer paid $20, $25, $30 an hour, surely a lot of Americans would be out there fighting for those farm jobs, picking oranges, picking strawberries, doing that thing, doing the farm work. If the farmer paid more, if the restaurateur paid more, people will be clamming for those jobs. If all industries paid a good salary, now at the same time, the worker get held accountable because if you're not doing a good job, you get fired because a lot of other Americans are dying to get those jobs. And if a lot of Americans are doing the jobs that people feel like Americans don't do, then that'll reduce the amount of immigrants wanting to come here because those jobs will be occupied. Well, now somebody's going to say, well, if the farmer pays more, then my fruit goes up. Yes, if you pay workers more, that means the product has to be worth more. I get it, but you'll be making enough money to where it'll be a livable wage to where you can afford the bread, the oranges, the bananas, the whatevers. And so when it all comes down to it, America has a slave slash capitalism problem where businesses, private owners want to keep their profit margins high and their liabilities low. So they want to pay you less and get you to work longer and harder and more. And because of that, a lot of industries are not getting workers because American workers feel like, hey, I'm worth more than what they're offering. So what do they do? They have to go and get immigrants to come in on a work visa or whatever, or some illegal migrants to come over and take care of those jobs to keep their liabilities low and their profits high. And it's cyclical. If the owners pay more, the American people will work, but they're not. So they got to replace it with a low cost worker. And over time, that low cost worker or their descendants are going to say, hey, I helped build America too. So I want to be a legit American citizen. That person, by law, eventually becomes American citizens because the Congress passed immigration laws or immigration reform. They become American citizens. And now they, too, don't want to do those jobs. And then it repeats. Companies pay people more so they're dying to work for you. Well, that's my take. What do you think?